All right, guys, it's Halloween. I wanted to give you guys something kind of spooky. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna be giving you this pretty scary Darien Lake Fright Fest 2022 review. Well, what was scary about this is how bad it was. Oh my god. So basically, we didn't even go in any of the houses because we knew what was going to happen. They got rid of Hotel Terror, repla replaced it with nothing. Um, Camp Scumshine is now Scarecrow Row. Um, from what we saw from Viper, which you can see everything in that thing from Viper. From what we saw there, it's the exact same as before. And then we all know Critters of Chaos and Jungle Apocalypse suck. So we we just decided not to get it because we saw The Awakening. If you saw my video on The Awakening this year, it was pathetic. Um, like barely any actors. The actors weren't really scary. Um, people didn't even know where it was, like, it was kind of by Superman, coming up that way, um, yeah, it was, like, me, Chase, and, like, a few other groups, and no one else, um, so, yeah, if you're worried about, um, finding The Awakening, um, definitely be worried, because they have, like, no indicators showing where it's at, so that's concerning, um, the scare zones, uh, there's a lack of them, um, they're bad, like, in the one kind of by Blast Off and Predator in between there, there was one scare actor, I'm not kidding you, there was one scare actor in there, which concerns me about the houses, I mean, maybe they're staffed well, probably not though, um, yeah, it was a joke, um, they got rid of the ticket taker. Like, either they fired him or he quit. I wouldn't blame him if he quit. Like, if you're watching this, dude, it wasn't pretty at Six Flags this year. So, I don't blame you if, like, you got fired or something. Maybe it was just an off night for you um, that you weren't there. Um, if that was, then let me know if all the other nights were as bone dry as um the last day that I went there was um and like if you got fired then yeah that's Lean Basool for you um and like there were a ton of the good actors that I didn't see there like they were all new or actors that I really didn't care for last year like I'm sorry like that this was not an improvement this was literally one of the few things Salimbus will want to improve on. And he failed. Um, this isn't necessarily, like, quite a rant. Because there were, like, a couple good things. Like, some of the decoration in Scarecrow Row looked kind of cool. Um, looked a bit better than Scumshine, I guess. Um, but still, nothing out of the ordinary that you wouldn't expect if you did Camp Scumshine last year, um, yeah, decoration was a bit better, I suppose, um, yeah, that, that's really it, um, yeah, not much positive to say about this event, um, if you want a good amusement park, I mean, literally go anywhere else, if you want a good haunt, go somewhere else, definitely, you've got Fright World, even, like, Seven Gates, like, around Grizzlies is a bit more out of the way, but I'll talk about that in a couple days, that's well worth it, um, so yeah, I hate to sound negative, but there wasn't much to Darien Lake Fright Fest this year, um, so yeah, that's my kind of review on Darien Lake's Fright Fest, 2022 um let me know what you guys saw of it did i catch it on a bad day or is this every day um let me know in the comments below make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time